Hello, and welcome back to our Curtis Plays Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Now, we are back. It is still peacetime. We are still hemorrhaging $16 million a month. But, man, the French has killer growth. Their naval funds are more than double mine. Wait a minute. Well, they're almost double mine. I was looking at Germany. Okay. At least I'm leading Germany, whom I'm probably going to go to war with next. I'm hemorrhaging that money because I am uh, antagonizing the Germans a bit. The Germans are kind of being antagonized by everyone. Let's see. What are you searching here? Central fire control. More basic on accuracy, more long range accuracy, okay. Come on, radar. And we continue. There's central fire control. Cordite 2. Oh, we still don't know what we're getting here. Okay, control station off. Hull farm optimization. 16 months. Double turrets on destroyers. I want triple turrets on like cruisers. That's what I want. Arc 3 8 inch guns is actually pretty good. Uh, we're going to go for that. Let's go to our finances. Check this out. Let's see. do have less going into our yes let's see what the politics are like now yeah we've got the Germans down Germany's about to hit war with France and then for once France and I are going to be on the same side that's going to be weird French Empire is starting to not like me again. Here's the Mark III 18 inchers. Pull that off there. What are we going to get here? 2,500 ton light cruiser. Engines, geared steam engines in four months. superimposed large guns. Let's see. Let's see where that gets us. Yep, double turrets on destroyers. Okay, let's check our ship design. So, 
can't refit any of those. Let's view this one. Let's give it a refit. Okay. So, these are Mark III 10 inch guns. Yep. I can upgrade it to three barrels. I'm not sure if I have the weight for it, though. Turbine engines, aux engine one, electric steering. What if I moved you over to carbon two? That's going to say 500 tons. Get electrical two, but it'll cause my hull weight to go up. Acoustics, hydro. Let's get the better range finder. put that on there. The ship will be overweight. are five inch guns. Oh, I don't have I don't have quad barrels for the five inch guns yet. Where could I put these? Okay, so I can put them in there. I'm just gonna just gonna trash this. Oh man, oh I'm such an idiot. I trashed the whole thing. Crap. Actually, I don't really think they need a... I don't think they really need a uh, an update. Let's go to politics. Yeah, we're going to be at war with Germany in like two months. It's not enough time to... Uh... That's not going to be enough time to like build anything, so... Superimpose large guns. Rear dynamic shell shape. Let's pull that off. Okay. Radar. Yes. Yes. Been waiting so long. Next, light cruiser. Now, yeah, let's just leave that as is. Yep, I 
think in one more month we should be at war. Yep. Negative 95. Our GDP is growing, which is good. Which means I'm... Okay. A serious incident has occurred which involves the German Empire. One of their profound politicians was assassinated in cold blood, and their government accuses us that we're behind this. They're asking for humiliating concessions to forget the matter. How should we respond? They are asking for trouble. We should never accept this accusation. Prepare for war is that if, if that is what they want. At a press conference, journalists ask you a question about the foreign policy of the German Empire's government. What is your answer? Hmm. The German Empire has an adventurous policy that often conflicts with our own interests. During a naval exercise, one of our battleships suffered an engine breakdown. The journalists ask you about this. How do you reply? Well, I could get more naval budget. That would be nice. Yeah. Indicate that we need to trust our own industry, not rely on the machinery bought by the Austro-Hungarian Empire. All right. War erupted between us. Oh, just in time for ge uh, geared steam turbines and radar. Okay. All right, we are in the black again. So let's go to our fleet. So, we have our new Giovanni della Bandinere class heavy cruisers. Say that five times fast. Up on sea control while the rest are in being. So, there we put them all in sea control as well. This one's in. Well, that's the. So everything in Helgeland. All of my battle cruisers are coming out of mothballs. Okay. There we go. Let's go by port. The Julio Gusari. All right. So that's gonna up my spending by quite a bit. Excuse me, by quite a bit. Perla, come back to being to in being. I'm gonna need my battleships to come up to Okay, now we have radar. Hallelujah. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade all my ships with radar. This is this is the one I've been waiting for. Refit. Okay. Yeah, it puts you overweight. That's fine. We will, uh... I think we can up the displacement a little bit. Okay, I can't up the displacement. All right. So.
Where am I going to find this weight at? I need to find around 2,000 tons. Wait. Okay. That helps. Upping it to crop armor. There we go. Okay, she's ready. So that's the Fama. Okay. You. If I refit, can I put radar on you? Yes. Gen 1 radar and hydro. Let's see. Night, I want you to have wait, some parts are badly placed. Okay, there we go. Ship is overweight by two hundred tons. That's not going to get me enough. I'm, I really don't want to remove a gun. Because th this thing is awesome. Where do, I, where do I save the weight at? Nope. That doesn't matter much. Okay, that helps. I think I can. I think I can do this now. Okay. All right, I can't put those back up. All right. Okay, so this thing isn't going to be armored too well, but. Current, and then the Prince Pay class here. I'm going to start by putting my entire fleet into. Uh... Okay, have to save 200 tons somewhere. Five hundred tons. I have to save five hundred tons somehow. Where am I going to get that? You don't even have the good reloading? Come on. I think I might have to drop you down to 12 inch guns.
really don't want to. Tell you what, I'm not going to change you. Because you're never going to go out by yourself. Okay. So, let's start by refitting everything. A month to three months. Let's see how things go. Radar's kind of a game changer, it really is. Come on, game. You can do it. Okay. All right. Our first catch of the day, next class battleship and CA-2354. Now, these cruisers, though fast, and with radar, so we're going to go with the tight formation, we're not going to avoid... What the hell? Get in there. Go all AP. Got Petrus falling behind. We're going to drop down to full speed instead of going flank speed so Idra can catch up. Okay, so. This is where radar is like a game changer. So, I now know exactly where their fleet is. It's pretty awesome. And I'll be able to see them, ideally, before they see me. We have seasoned crews. Oh, we knocked out their rudder. Yeah, they've not even detected me yet. 9.2 kilometers out. Let's swap to that. We're going to do some damage to that. They have detected me. Swapped AP for that target. Oh, torpedo detonation. Thinks that's a DD, but okay. 
dangerous rudders out. She took some flooding. That battleship got too close. Ooh. We're gonna kill that cruiser, though. These probably... The secondaries probably won't be good enough to really do much. And we're going to do one of these. Okay, the injury is getting underway. Seventeen inches of armor, yeah. I don't think I really have the, uh, the weapons to deal with that, but I can just light you on fire. Oh, I might lose the Idris. She's flooding bad. Idra detach and go immediately that way. Battle station, she's losing control, which means she's not going to be able to keep these fires out forever. Let's get away from her for a bit of a shallower arc to get that other, those other guns online. thing is just a floating firestorm. I don't think I'm going to sink her. I think she's going to surrender due to fire. Give it more HE. There's just so many small shells impacting.
Okay. She sank due to extensive fire. Alright. Okay, so these aren't the battleship killers that the old class is, that's for sure. But then again, they were made to be very cheap with smaller guns. They've only got 8 inches. There's no, uh, you know, there's no big 10 inch battleship guns on here. So they're doing what they're supposed to do. Another big amount of uh, cruisers versus one of their battleships. We have found that HE is the way to go. Okay. Dropped it full so everyone can stay in formation. This can be a bit. That's going to be the nice thing about uh, having radar is I can now see how far away the enemy is and kind of where they're moving. Let's increase the flank speed. There we go. Yep, he's heading into us. He's about to hit uh, our longest range weapon. speed. And it's already on fire. Stem to stern. The ship can make twenty five knots, it's no joke. Partial pen on one of my cruisers. Just penetrated the main tower.
Oh yeah, it's gonna go down. Just a bunch of fire starters. Like I said, radar is like a godsend here. And I don't think they have it yet. Well, they're using advanced radio range finding. And they're using range... They're using... Uh... Was it convergent range finding? It's the one I like to use, but they're only using level 2. We're just burning it down. See, they're out of high explosive for the, uh, for the, their 13-inch guns. Their 9s are the only ones that are really engaging us. Come on, this thing's got to go down to fire soon. I like these new cruisers. I like them. They're doing the job I asked of them, basically. They're they're never really to go out alone. They're not a solo carry like my old cruisers. They serve a completely different purpose. And they just sent all of them back. Why didn't they go to Helgoland? one of the Agrippa class. I'm not sending you. The Napoli is getting I sent the fa the Fama back. Okay, who's up here? The Principic Carlo, Cesare. All right, they're still up there. Uh, let's see. The Germans have a lot more projection in the North Sea. It's because of the six battleships they have. Um, where are my battle cruisers at? the last one. Perla. Let's 
see, convoy mission. I have 13 inch guns versus their 13.1s. They go 20 knots, I go 30. Seasoned crew, all right. You have radar, right? No, I don't think I gave you radar. I must not have. Oh boy. Thirty knots, jeez. This thing trucks. What is that? I do not want to take hits from that. That was way too close. Partial pen. not see me? Let's go HE on the on the small guns. See if we can light some fires. What's going on with him? His turrets appear to be stuck, or he can't detect me. Okay, now he can. I have zero penetration. Let's go with AG. Got some fires going. I think I'm going to have to bring up the big guns. Okay, 
Okay, so it looks like at about 6.7 kilometers, he loses sight of me. This engine's out, so I can press the press the attack a bit. Damage to main gun. Okay, he got his engine problem out of control, or under control. Let's give it some AP. See, these battle cruisers are more meant to be flankers. They're meant to deal with, like, uh, you know, the cruisers and and light cruisers and destroyers. That's the flattest broadside I'm gonna have. Yeah, I'm gonna have to bring the uh, the big cruisers out of uh, out of out of mothballs. You know what? You're a pretty pretty good target right there. Give you some of my AP. Yes. See, killing these cruisers, that's what this uh, ship is for.
Gotta watch out for those torpedoes, though. Oh, there we go. Let's destroy this cruiser. And then we'll go and harass the battleship some more. It can limp along at 20 knots, but I'ma find it. All AG. We're also missing a lot because this crew, uh, we're used to our crews being uh, veterans. Because Basically, this is the first time I've just taken ships out of mothballs, but, uh... Oh, no. Oopsie. I'd let it hit me. I got too close. Because they basically repaired all the damage I've done to them. That was a big hit to the main tower. He's trying to turn in. Let's not let him do that. Oh. Okay, took out one of his main guns. I think it's one of the side main guns. This is the most aggressive I've really ever seen the AI be.
I'm just throwing these 12 in these 13 inch shells just at the wall and not really getting anything. Okay, took out a funnel. I don't know what's gonna happen. Am I gonna run out of ammo before he goes down? down. He's not going to have a very good chance to hit me anymore. maneuver away. I gotta get in close to pen him. But I don't have the armor to get close enough. Flooding. He might go down. got a rudder out, he's got an engine out. See, the thing is, I have an engine out. I could still make 24 knots. And he makes 20 on his best day. So I can still just dance around him. I am out of AP. I'll just hit him with my two inches and four inches. Set more fires. Yeah, he's burning out of control now.
much is this thing? 27 million. Alright. I mean, my battle cruiser, like, out tons it and is faster and. and is a bit more expensive. Crews at 32% losses, most of the ships on fire. What's going to take it? Flooding or structure? Come on, give it up. Well, it took most of our ammo, but uh, we did it. Prince Big Carlo is going to have to go back for... Uh, she's going to have to go back for some repairs, though. She's going to be down for a while. That just leaves my battleship here. Okay, so... It's time to bring out the, uh... The big guns now. Torpedoes. All right, let's check our research. Okay, turret mechanisms. What are we getting? Advanced triple turrets. Yeah, that's good. I like that. I would like triple turrets for like lighter, uh, lighter ships, though. Get bigger light cruiser. The next month. And you are moving to Helgeland. Ooh. Big fight. How much time do we have? Oh, we are over time. I guess you're going to have to wait to see this fight until next time. It's going to be... Ooh basically how my ships are supposed to fight and then we've got the battle cruisers and then we've got the, the Spania Grippa class heavy cruisers with their 10 inch guns and multiple 5 inch guns uh, they're going to be coming on hot and they're going to be supported by our lighter um, they're going to be supported by our lighter Giovanni class cruisers they're going to help uh, screen for all these escorts. So, I hope you guys had a good time. I'll see you next time. This is Arcurus, signing off.